the cautious seldom air. Heaven means to be one with God. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. The object of the superior man is truth. Silence is a true friend who never betrays. Never give a sword to a man who can't dance. When anger rises, think of the consequences. If we don't know life, how can we know death? Study the past, if you would divine the future. To see the right and not to do it is cowardice. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Humility is the solid foundation of all virtues. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. You cannot open a book without learning something. Better diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Ability will never catch up with the demand for it. I hear, I know, I see, I remember, I do, I understand. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. We should feel sorrow, but not sink under its oppression. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. To be wronged is nothing unless you continue to remember it. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. A gentleman would be ashamed should his deeds not match his words. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. They must often change. Who would be constant in happiness or wisdom? To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. To see and listen to the wicked is already the beginning of wickedness. It is more shameful to distrust our friends than to be deceived by them. I want you to be everything that's you, deep at the center of your being. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? To see what is right and not to do it is want of courage or of principle. The superior man thinks always of virtue. The common man thinks of comfort. Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The superior man acts before he speaks, and afterwards speaks according to his action. Death and life have their determined appointments. Riches and honors depend upon heaven. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. Success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation there is sure to be failure. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. The expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. If you look into your own heart and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? 
If you think in terms of a year, plant is seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. When you know a thing, to hold that you know it, and when you do not know a thing, to allow that you do not know it, this is knowledge. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. A youth, when at home, should be filial and abroad, respectful to his elders. He should be earnest and truthful. He should overflow in love to all and cultivate the friendship of the good. When he has time and opportunity, after the performance of these things, he should employ them in polite studies.